yet another live episode with Newton School. Um, today we're going to talk to Zavid, uh, who is a software developer at Synaptic. He very interestingly has a story to share with all of us today. Uh, Zavid has had an interesting story during the pandemic, and he has learned how to make the most use of time as a resource and uh, invest himself into learning with Newton School. So without much further ado, uh, let's call Zavid on this call and talk to him. We're welcoming Zavid to this call very shortly. Yeah, hi. Hi, Zavid, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Uh, Zavid, we just told our audience that you have a very interesting story to share with all of us today. And uh, we want to know how, um, you know, how did you decide that you want to become a software developer? Yeah, for me, uh, actually, I was that ideal guy who has uh, nothing, a proper aim, right? So I did my 10th and then 12th, and then I got into a, one of the engineering college. There, I, earlier, I used to prepare for MBA and then gate or, and then once I decided to land in a software development, I learned codings and all. Then there, my journey begins from that. Awesome. So, you know, uh, having decided that, how did you land up at Newton School? Yeah, so that is a quite short story. For me, actually, I got placed on my college. And as you know, the scenario of uh, low tire college, which type of placement I could get, I have got, you could have guessed that means it's not satisfactory to me. So for that, I, I always used to search some this kind of things so that I can land in a better place. Then, uh, then, then luckily, I got a mail from that Vivek and all. Then there, my journey started with Newton School. I joined and then all it ended here. Awesome. So when you joined Newton School, um, how was your journey? Uh, you know, did you start enjoying the classes when you joined Newton School or did it take a little while? Yeah, actually, actually uh, honest answer will be, I take, it took me some couple of weeks for me, actually one week. Honestly, earlier it was simple DSA, which I think I know, but uh, quite when we dig deep into it, then I started uh, enjoying it. I mean, yeah, it took some days then to be acquainted with it. And, uh, you know, a lot of students come to us and they're like, they're scared of DSA. Were you one of them or, you know, you like DSA Palace? No, no. Actually, I am one of them only because, uh, uh, to be honest, since the Newton School only geared my DSA. I simply, you say DSA is one, of, one question you will get it easy. On same topic, you will get next level question and you'll think, oh, what's that? How to solve it? No, that's where Newton School gave me everything. From simple questions to we like gradually go up, increase our level, and then we reach our milestones, everything. Okay. Uh, so, Zabit, when you joined Newton School, uh, you also saw a lot of students around you who were also, you know, preparing for the same. Uh, how was your experience with them? Did you make friends? Uh, how was your experience with the rest of them? Yeah, actually, I have many friends in it. We have a group and we talk there from that we get each other's number and then we used to ping the, some doubts and we discuss about how the session was. Suppose there was a HTML session I used to remember and some of the guy pinged me and then we started. We Still now we are good friends and he is also placed and I'm also placed. So you till now we discuss what is your tech stack, what is my tech stack. So everything, you know, it gives me also friends, right? Awesome. Um, so, you know, talking about doubts, um, tell us more about how your relation with your mentors were. Yeah, so yeah, it was good. Actually, earlier I was I was having a mentor, and now after some times, there was some issue. He was not cop up. Then I got permission. Then he was one of the developer of the Amazon. So yeah, it was great because if I ping him in the middle of the day, then he finds time and call me on Zoom, 
and then he solve my doubts and if he if he doesn't do that he send me the proper link as you know in if you search up some topic you will get random answers but you will not get to search the exact article it will take so many of your time but the pamesh used to send me the perfect article means in which on two to three sentence you will clear your doubt so that thing happens if you are around an experienced person like someone the your team provides yeah that is one good opportunity and good thing i would say okay um so did you make projects when you were at newton school tell us about one of your favorite projects yeah actually we started from small project the favorite project was what i finally built and also the newton school gave that timer and all so it is great means uh, in the project also you will learn everything means only the reading is not enough and only understanding is not enough the enough what i'll say when you will make when it comes to application right you put your own mind own logic and when everything mixed up like we in newton school we learn mon stack when everything is mixed up from front end to back end then you have to means that comes in projects doing projects we we'll learn everything yeah that that is we have a question here from one of our viewers um engineering things wants to know when did you join newton school actually i joined on april that i am in the april batch and that when i was on my final year in my engineering so simultaneously i completed my final year and then also in newton school yeah okay so that brings me to the next and the main question uh, you know a lot of people faced a lot of difficulties during the pandemic with jobs and uh, you on the contrary are saying that you made the most of the pandemic uh, how did you end up doing that actually the pandemic gave me opportunity means the pandemic came and the newton school came so i got time also not time that means i got everything from newton school and in pandemic i also sit the whole hours and in my laptop i used to code everything so that's the thing means don't i don't take pandemic as a negative thing it's good if if i cool then obviously i landed in better place rather than landing in my college placement right yeah it is a good thing awesome so uh, going towards placements um, you know there is always this fear in all of us when we are going towards interviews kya hoga pata nahi kaise sawal puchhenge Uh, there are a lot of questions going on in our mind um, i want to know from you uh, were you always confident about interviews or what no. happened how did you no. change it? actually no that's i was not always confident i used to say that when i went earlier i was having a job from uh, one company so when i sat on that company my leg was shivering when i was to give the answers this was the honest answer means i could see my shoes it is in vibration so then i thought what to do but uh, on newton schools you learn that you got confident in your answers right and then there comes the main thing that mock interviews which we uh, we do means up to i have gave more than 11 to 12 mock interviews almost 13 every week i used to give two to three mock interviews so there uh, everything goes right means uh, with uh, gradually increase of your mock interview you will increase your confidence and when you means uh, go less rank or go means your credit goes or next means if you get out of 10 you get 4 5 then you prepare more then you get schedule another mock interview and then you do well so there where confidence and knowledge increases okay awesome so after you were done with your mock interviews were you confident enough that you can go towards placements yeah actually that i will say yes after giving almost 7 to 8 i was confident so that mock interview is not only one topic right i means we you provide us for project there is several mock for dsa there is several mock for so no j there is several mock so everything you are giving simultaneously then obviously you will get confidence right when you means uh, uh, prepare in bits and bits and then you collide them then obviously you will get more confidence right so that was the thing with me okay so how was your placement process like after your mock interviews were done you started uh, getting placement yeah. offers how was that like uh, so the uh, i uh, i will say that yeah, i was referred to two to three companies i failed there that is honest but 
and they used to refer me so the first aptic where i am right now the first was it was everything started with dsa there was around with dsa so when you clear up then again there will be around face to face and again there will be third round so yeah that goes on yeah. so first you have to clear the basic round then you will be referred means you will get opportunity for the next round so it was the three steps process so and after the third round i qualified that yeah okay uh, so tell me you know how was your experience when you finally knew that you were placed like when you finally got that placement call uh, what did you feel yeah actually it was a great thing means actually it uh, was surprising for me means thing i know means i got placed from my college and that was not expectation so i thought yeah that where it ends i will join that company but when you get placement of high paying job for and also great tech stack to work on so that was a challenging job then that's where your means you will be shocked and surprised and also well the loved ones of yours then they used to congratulate and then they are also happy that you made them proud so that's the thing yeah how, how was the reaction of the loved ones did, did you yeah. part yeah obviously i parted with them and i gave rest to myself to do three days then i enjoyed with them top then then i started the journey of connecting also um so rabit uh, you know a lot of students like you said that have uh, this fear of dsa a lot of students have um, a lot of tension and uh, problem with confidence in talking to someone um, you know you've seen that and plus you made the most of the pandemic what is that one advice uh, that you could give to uh, other students who are trying to become software developers and full stack developers Uh, actually the advice would be that see, if we uh, take one topic how newton school does suppose suppose it, any topic of uh, uh, dsa right suppose say you say i take array rotation then you uh, go give your time to that and study the articles and get that type of questions and complete that and after that practicing is much before dsa is the topic we forget same thing we did in one month after one month we will forget so we should keep revising so if you keep revise and all then it comes on time right it should not means be motivated if nothing happens it will happen one day that my mentor used to say don't worry and some just to say if in once you didn't get a solution try brute force approach and then you will obviously will come up with one solution so right that ds is all about problem solving skills everyone has it but everyone doesn't prepare and doesn't means try to solve it so we get means early me they bolte na jaldi se chhar man gaya to aisa nahi hai na we have to be with that questions and we have to solve it that's right yeah. that makes that makes complete sense uh, yeah. we have one more question here from uh, our viewers uh, they want to know about your major full stack project yeah actually i made a travel blog post and i named it that traveler it is also deployed in heroku then it was less a travel blog post means everyone suppose you there are uh, it's like a, a social media website so everyone could visit it and then everyone opens a account in it and suppose you visit a new place like say suppose you in hungary and all then you upload the photos and images and suggest other users to what to do what to not do in that place it was the entire every tech stack i learned i have applied there it was uh, not nice okay Okay, uh, Zavid, I want to know this one thing, and that is, uh, you know, when you joined Newton School, uh, when you started, you knew that you were you you had specific skills, and now you are a full stack developer at Synaptic. Um, there is a difference in the journey, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, but how do you think your knowledge now helps you in the job that you do? yeah see to be honest the tech stack what i learned in newton school it is different the tech stack what i'm working on is entirely different i am learned here react and i am doing here angular so both are two different things but thing is that the concept remains the same the everything remains the same here also you build rest apis here also you build rest apis everything remains the same but process difference different and further for me when i joined newton school i don't know i was nothing means i don't know what is month stack drop so if i know i could do that then i could also do this so it is the same journey means nothing more so what newton school gave me you have just apply to this and 
go on then you will obviously be better from here what i'm i will be better means if i work on this projects and all obviously it will take far to go awesome um yeah so we have a few questions can do you want to talk to us a little bit more about the pre course that you had um were you scared that you'll go through uh in newton school right you're asking what course yeah obviously I mean, for me dsa was stuff i and i don't know what is html what is csf as i am from electronics i don't belong to computer science means in the first second year third year i had the network theory and all i was gate means i was gate scorer so i was preparing for gate so for me everything was new so it will take time and it will take hard work to learn everything from zero and uh, yeah. uh, the honest sense are that you guys you do provide that we get same lecturers and we get mentors they are industrial experts so they will guide you no issues you will learn everything awesome uh, this has been great talking to you zabit and i hope that you keep rocking uh, in your career like you are right now um, thanks for joining us thank you thank you so much yeah. bye bye Bye-bye.